you guys? This is Brittany and today I'm coming at you with a review about a lace frontal. Not any just other lace frontal you guys. I went to the beauty supply store because if you don't know I have a recent rant up about a hair company. I do. But I wanted to get a frontal. I have a lot of hair on a lot of units and I decided that I would just deconstruct a couple of the wigs that I know had some good hair on them and I would come up and make me a new wig. I just wanted to get a new lace frontal. I didn't want a lace closure, I want a lace frontal. So I purchased this lace frontal. The first beauty supply store I went to, I saw, cause I saw another girl video who bought a lace frontal from the beauty supply store and it was like, it was a lace frontal but they had our silk base and it had like some type of like silk in the middle of it so it's like you couldn't it was ear to ear but it was like some like kind of cloth or some shit in there I said no so I went on down down the street to another one now this is a big ass box so it's the Indian temple it says that it's the ear to ear frontal lace closure 100% full hand tie free part and dye bleach perm 12 inch it comes in straight body wave loose deep 11b natural the picture that it has makes it look like this and i'll incorporate a picture off the um off the internet on how it looks because i didn't take a picture of it but it says it's a brazilian 100 percent unprocessed human hair um wash up to 10 times or more the hair use remedy procedure to, and they tell you how to wash it but I got the 1B, I got the style body wave in a 12 inch. It says top lace closure with baby hair, bleach knots, natural color. So it's a 13 inch by 4. So, y'all, so this hair, it really is dark. This is the closure. Now this hair that's in my wig is like some AliExpress hair and my MM Elite hair. It's kind of like all mixed in. I have about three, a little over three bundles. I was trying to get like four bundles in with closure. But my sewing skills ain't there yet because I wanted to have like a lot of hair. But I think this is what I was going for. So anyway, back to this closure. I'm just giving y'all an initial review on this wig because I made it a couple days ago. The first time I made it, I was sick, right? So when I made the wig, the closure was like right here. And the cap was back here. So I had to deconstruct it. So I made the wig for a second time and I think I got it the best way I can. So yes, it's a 12 inch lace closure. I did not, I don't bleach knots because I over bleached them. Okay, I did not use any makeup because I was for, I was fast, like I forgot. I forgot to put makeup under it, but um, it's, you could still see like the lace on it and it's like it's not if I bleached it it'll be a bit, a bit lighter to make the knots lighter so it won't be as dark but this is fine to me y'all y'all know it's not like I'm not the type of person who's gonna be wearing my hair up down around town like that's just it when I make a side part it's gonna be a side part the hair on this closure y'all is like to die for like it is so like when it it like okay so y'all know I love Indian hair y'all y'all know I love Indian hair and I had Indian temple hair before if I'll probably try to link a video like when I got married the weave I had in my hair was horrible so like two days before my wedding I took out my sew in hair but I kept the braids in y'all and I bitch went to the beauty supply store and spent like $180 on some like I had got like a 22 a 18 and a 14 like some crazy and shit y'all but that hair was gorgeous and it was some it was by this company it was like ear to ear by Indian Temple and it was some gorgeous ass hair so when I seen it as a beauty supply so I was like I remember that so I got it and it still feels like that Indian hair after I washed my wig y'all it still had like a wave to it because it had a wave to it of course in the box but um yeah i haven't did anything to the frontal but make my wig i did use the got to be glue method on my wig to like you know pull it down or whatever but i don't know if i'm doing it wrong or if my got to be glue is old or something because lately since the, when i've been using the got to be glue method it's not working and this is a brand new lace closure lace frontal this is not an old frontal this didn't have any glue on it previously and I've watched videos on how to remove the got to be glue with alcohol and water and so I've been able to remove glue or the gel 
off my wig so I don't know if the method isn't working or if the gel that's selling isn't working I don't know so as I was curling my hair for the video I'm curling a piece of my wig just fall off because if you don't know I only use the got to be glue method on the front part and I don't even lately I don't even like sew the back part like that's the only thing that keeps my hair going but I just tried the gorilla snot and um, we'll see how that works but it's on there and I didn't do it I haven't I didn't let it sit a little long or whatever but anyway so this is what the closure looks like so if you see any whiteness it could be from the got to be glued and this is not gonna be like all the way down because like I said I was rushing when I did the video when I um, was doing my hair so let me part it and show you guys like how it looks so as you can see it's dark but you can you can see the you know the supposed scalp you can see the supposed scalp that's supposed to be so if I was to bleach it you'll be able to see it a little bit more but I don't think I'm gonna bleach it I'll probably once I take the wig off again um which let's see today is Friday so I'll probably take it off Sunday or Monday since Monday is a holiday when I you know like redo my hair because I redo my wigs like every couple of days with the got to be glue but I'm gonna try to gorilla snot so I do it every couple of days because I just don't want to be anywhere and my wig just falls off so um I just want to show y'all initial look of this closure I really like it because I love the texture of it and it really matches my um MM elite hair um she's a local vendor i want to say vendor she's a local seller of hair in my area um this is the hair i actually purchased i did do a review on when i had like a bob but i actually purchased this hair um and i had got three bundles like a 22 a 20 and an 18 inch but um i added like a 14 inch bundle to the hair so it's like i mean a 14 inch 24 inch hair from some aliexpress company the 22 the 20 and then i think i have a little bit of the 18 and then i have the lace frontal and everything like matches really really well so yes you guys you can find nice frontals at the beauty supply store now the price it was a hundred dollars it was 99 dollars and i was like because <laughs> If you don't know, Brittany all about affordability. And when it comes to like $99 for a front, I was like, where? Like, bitch, where? And when I asked my other friend who works at the beauty supply store, like, how much a front, how much is the front over there? She's like, it's $89.99. So did I want to drive all the way to the next town? Or did I just want to pay $10 down the street from my house? So that's what I did. So um, yes, it was $99, but it will get its work, baby. But I just want to show you guys what it looks like. Um, and I will give you an update on it in a couple of weeks because this is my wig for the time being. I don't have any current hair assignments <laughs> scheduled. Nobody's sending hair at the time. I don't know y'all, but this is what I'll be rocking for the for the while and I really like the dark because it looks so dark I love like sometimes I really like dark hair on me and even though it's winter it's like 80 degrees outside right now like you literally can go outside in booty shorts and cowboy boots and um nobody wouldn't tell you nothing because it's hot like I have the air conditioner on right now so yeah well anyway you guys I just wanted to give you a little quick initial review on my ear to ear frontal lace closure 100% full hand tied free part body wave 1B and I purchased it myself so if y'all have any questions or comments leave them down below and I will see you guys in my next video